And my first mural was actually, uh, I was around like, six, seven. And my mom, we lived like in a small shack in the Dominican Republic and the, the walls were like kind of it was plywood. And my mom just let me um, just draw in the, in the walls in the room. I mean, it's extremely important just because uh, to be able to see a figure like uh, at this night on a mural, somebody that came from the street, somebody that looked like, like us, um, it's just uh, extremely inspirational for you to be able to see that regardless of where you came from, you're able to make an impact uh, in the world and, and be able to do bigger things and um, to be represented on this scale. So that you can keep inspiring like the next generation of artists and young kids that might not think that uh, art is uh, a creative output, it's something that that's a life worth pursuing. I did not know him until he became a customer and I didn't know his history until later. I knew he was a writer. I knew he loved jazz. Um, I knew he liked smoking inside a bar because you could at that time, because this is like the late middle 80s, 1980s. He developed quite a following because of his talents, his expertise. He began to uh, either do reciting of his work, not on stage, but just among a group that were became followers, acolytes of him. Uh, they would bring in their work. He would he would have them read it. Uh, they would do some critiques. There was college age. They weren't coming in to get a drink. They were coming in to be in the presence of Etheridge Knight, to both learn from him, experience the space, the place, and the jazz. Fun to have him here. All I want is my woman back so my soul can sing. I mean, I think that's the breadth of it in general. Uh, and what he was trying to do with his work was just to be honest, be honest first with himself, you know, um, and to look at what he had, you know, done with his life and not be afraid to say that. I mean, mo uh, most poets are really talking about something specific in society. They don't really place themselves as part of that. I think one of the things that we have a hard time with in indie as artists is that we kind of isolate ourselves um, or we leave, right? And there's like really nothing in between those two things. Uh, so it's really nice to have the opportunity to pull like an international artist in and get to connect with them and teach them about indie because we're very different than the way we're perceived. Um, and also for me to get like that network and tips on how to navigate the larger national field while still, you know, centering Indiana because that's my home. Knight discovered the transformative power of poetry, working as a journalist, connecting with renowned black poets, and publishing his first book, Poems from Prison. Y'all look at me as an artist, but you know, he's my brother, so I never, I never knew that he was loved so much, but thank you. Thank you.